use a coloring book while you wait. Thanks. But you can't do this. You'll leave us with nothing. It's not fair. How can you do this to me? To your own daughter? That's the thing, Fee. She isn't my daughter. And you've been lying to me this whole time? <laughs> Just so you know, you're not getting another penny of my money. Ellen, Suzanne. Uh, Mrs. Quinn, we did a DNA test that proves that your daughter, Kat, has no biological relationship to Mr. Quinn. And we're also in possession of an old diary of yours that proves that you knew this all along. You lied to Mr. Quinn to get him to marry you and to support your child. That's paternity fraud, and in the state, that means that we can sue you to recover damages and for emotional distress. Sue me? You can't do that. But I don't have anything. Let's go, Catherine. over him and that lawyer of his. They can't get away with this. But mommy, you said daddy would take care of us. I thought he would, Kat. He said he would. But thanks to that, that damn lawyer of his, he's found a way to cheat us. Mommy, slow down! I'm sorry, Kat, but things just aren't fair in this life. If you'll realize it one day, you don't get what you deserve. The good people, like us, we suffer and get screwed over, but the bad ones, like that lawyer, they thrive, they take advantage. I don't know what we're going to do. We don't have anything to live on. I, I can't go back to work now with my bad back and all. Mommy! I'm sorry, Kat. There's just no fighting people like that. We have nothing, thanks to that lawyer. We have absolutely nothing. It's all over for us. say the most important thing for a client to do is to sign a prenup? Absolutely. And the second most important thing is to have a good divorce attorney. Divorce attorney? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, it seems like you have a pretty jaded view on marriage. I'm almost afraid to ask. Are you married? I am, actually. I'm happily married for 18 years, and we have a beautiful daughter that's heading off to college next year. But I would say that my view is, is not jaded. It's just a little more realistic. No mistake, of course. Oh, looks like we have a caller coming in. Hi there. Um, do you have a question for Suzanne? Hi, Suzanne. I wanted to ask if you ever feel guilty about the families that you screw over. A part of me? You know, like how you get your clients out of paying for things that they should pay for? Well, I always try to do the best for my clients, but I think there is a specific case that you're thinking about. Am I right? You think that because you have this charity, this foundation that helps women with criminal records, that you're giving back. You think it makes up for the bad things that you do to other women? Well, it doesn't. And one day, Suzanne, one day, you are gonna pay. Um, well, that went well. Yes, well... Unfortunately, disgruntled parties are a part of most divorces and a part of my job. Um, I just try to do the best I can for my clients to make sure that they're happy at least. Of course. Well, we hope to have you back again soon, Suzanne. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, sorry again about the last caller. It's okay. Good night. Thank you. Scream in your head. Please, take whatever you want. 
Just don't shoot me. I have a daughter. Please take my purse. Here, take my ring, whatever you want. Why would I want your wedding ring? What I want, what I want is for you to pay. You? Are you the person who was calling in tonight? Are you the one who's been harassing me? Look, whatever it is you're angry about, please, we'll figure out a way to make it better. Please, just do You don't have to do this. I've already figured out a way to make it better. Drop it! Ah! I have a gun! get some ice. Okay. What you did was... was so incredibly brave. <laughs> I think you saved my life. Do you need a doctor? I think it's gonna be okay. It was this scariest thing ever. I mean, I mean, I'm just glad she can shoot. I know I've heard about some break-ins in the area, but... Yeah, actually, I think it was something more personal. Personal? Yeah. I'm, um... I'm in family law, so I deal with a lot of divorces, family disputes. Frankly, often people are not very happy with the way things turn out. My job was tough. <laughs> I'm a housekeeper. I work for the Andersons sex store. Oh, the Andersons? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I thought I thought that they had moved. Um isn't the house empty? Um yeah, yes, it is. The last time I was there I left some cleaning supplies. I, I make my own with essential oils. It's healthier that way. So do you think that we should call the police? I mean, the gun she was using, it, it, it wasn't even real. It's a fake gun. Uh, you have her gun? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Oh, this is my daughter. Please don't say anything. She's very worried about my safety all the time anyway, and my husband too. I don't want them to know what happened. Hi, Mom. Uh, why is there Chinese food all over the front walk? Oh, yeah, I just uh, dropped it on the way in. I, um... Uh, Cassie. Cassie, uh... She was working next door, and she ran over and helped me. Okay, well, uh, I have homework before dinner, so should I order a pizza or something? No, no, Vera will be home any moment now with the groceries, and I will cook something for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for not saying anything. <laughs> Is it going down? Honestly, I think I'm okay. You're such a trooper. <laughs> oh, that's Vera, my housekeeper. Excuse me. <laughs> Vera! Don't worry about putting the groceries away. I got it. Go to your family dinner. Okay, there's still time. We're not meeting till 8. <laughs> you know, why don't you join us for dinner, Cassie? I mean, I, I don't have anything fancy for tonight, but... Oh, no, thank you. Um, I'd better get going. Can I hey? use your restroom first? Yeah, yeah. It's right through there. Okay, thanks. go <laughs> but if you rethink about calling the police oh and they need to talk to me you can just give me a call yeah thanks thank you for saving me i mean that was so incredibly brave and i i mean you didn't know that the gun wasn't loaded if there's ever anything that i can do for you well i say i'm available as a maid but you already have one 
But if you ever need an extra hand with a vendor or anything, just let me know. Yeah, maybe so. Take care. Hey, babe. I gotta make a quick call. Oh, good, good. I'm white. Sorry. Hi. How was your day? Um... Anything exciting happen? No. No, not really. How about yours? It was good. Oh, by the way, we gotta put uh, Annabelle down on the party list as a definite maybe. A definite maybe? Yeah, better than a regular maybe. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so everything's going good at work with your new boss, huh? Yeah. No issues? So far, so good. And I think the fact that she's considering coming to the party is a good sign that my job is safe. Yes. I'm gonna go wash up. Okay. Dinner will be ready in like half hour. All right. Hmm. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice time with your family. Thanks. Bye. I think I just killed somebody. Not too spicy, right? Honey, dinner is delicious. It's so good. This was Whitney's pick. Mm -hmm. Hello? Is this Suzanne Cruz? This is she. We have identified a woman named Vera Perez. She was unfortunately struck by a car and was pronounced dead what? at the hospital no. tonight. Mom, what happened? I... Did you know? Know what? That Vera was using again. I mean, her sister told me the cops found drugs in her system, and I... No. No, I didn't know. <laughs> because when we decided to hire someone from Second Chances, you said you'd vouch for her, honey, and I just... I don't know. I thought she was, okay? I thought that she had her life on track, and I... I didn't have a 
clue. I don't know how I missed it. I, poor Vera, I mean. If I'd known I could have gotten Vera some help, it's my fault. I should have been able to see that. It's okay. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye, hon. Bye, Whitney. By the way, Annabelle is a definite yes for the party. Oh, God, the party. Yeah, the party. And I know we're going to have to hire another housekeeper to help out with things, but honey, I don't... I don't think we should use the charity. Clay! Uh, that's... I'm serious, Suze. I mean, we have a teenage daughter living in the house. I mean, let's use an agency or, or, or get a referral from somebody. What about Trish? Doesn't she have someone? Wait, isn't she going on a worldwide cruise? Actually... Watch. Cassie? Hi. It's Suzanne Cruz. How would you feel about working a party this weekend? Great. and champagne will be right over here and go ahead and hang up coats and bags right over there and I can tell that the floor needs a little bit of a vacuuming. Oh, I'm on it. Where's the vacuum? Uh, right under the stairwell there. By the way, Cassie, that is your car in the driveway, yes? Very sorry, but we're going to have to clear it for the caterers before the party starts. No problem. I'll be there right now. Mary, you scared me. Gotcha. What the hell are you doing here? I came for my money. And for an apology. You really hit me hard with that mop the other day. What was that about? Sorry. I got a little carried away. Hey, I'm in. And she thinks that you're the one who's been harassing and calling her, and then I saved her. Great. So now I'm the one they're looking for? Yeah, whose fault was that? You're the one who showed her your face. Yeah, but don't sweat it. She didn't even call the cops. Fine. Just pay me what you owe me and I'm gone. It's all I got. It's pleasure doing business. Hey. Why do you hate this lady so much anyway? None of your business. You know, gave me a little extra. You didn't use a real gun. No way. She's not getting off that easy. First, I have to teach her a very important lesson. That karma's a bitch. So am I. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cassie. <gasps> Julie, hi! It's so nice to see you. You look great. Thank you so much for coming. You probably remember Cassie. She was the Anderson's maid. Yes, we've met. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got her coat. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Down. How could I not? But I thought you were going to be leaving for your big cruise in a day or two. I know, but you know me. I can't miss a party, can I? Oh, here, my I got you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's not your usual girl, is it? You know, the felon? Trish. What? She was, right? Okay. Trish, I told you about Vera. This is Cassie. She used to work for the Andersons. Really? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't remember her. No? Anyway. All right, so how many good-looking single men are here tonight? Well, uh, plenty, for sure. Oh, he's yummy. That is the founding partner of my firm, <laughs> Chad Brewer, but he's very married, so... Like, that's ever stopped me? All right. Okay, I'm gonna go get some in a drink, and I promise I'll be good. Just introduce yourself and... <laughs> okay. Honey. Yes? <laughs> Uh, I want you to meet my boss, Annabelle Gray. Annabelle, this is my wife, Suzanne. Annabelle, I'm so glad you could make it. Uh, thank you for inviting me. It's so nice to finally meet you. 
But what is that perfume? It smells so good. I love it. Oh. <laughs> well, it's called a hot pink, and I just had to buy it for the name alone. <laughs> well, you probably can't tell, but hot pink is my favorite color. Um, I would have never guessed. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Thank you, Cassie. So, um, Suzanne, I hope it's okay with you, but uh, I gave your number to a friend of mine who needs some legal advice. Oh, I would be happy to help him or her. Her, <laughs> but it has to be uh, totally discreet. See, she's kind of well known. I see. In that case, have her call the office or I could set up an appointment for her, but I would be happy to find time for her. Absolutely. Amazing. Great. I knew there was a reason we voted to make you an equity partner. I just sold that. That's okay. Thank you. Hi. You're Cassie Styles, right? Mm-hmm. Frank Warner, private investigator looking into the incident from the other night. Oh, I didn't realize that Suzanne hired anyone. She did. Suzanne and our old friends, we go way back. So I had Suzanne sit down with an artist who sketched out this picture of the woman with the gun. You say that's a good likeness? Uh, yes. Um, I don't really see her face. Anything you remember? Anything about the incident that could be helpful? I'm, I'm sorry. It all happened so fast. I was pretty much behind her the whole time. Oh. Do you know who she is? No. I think of somebody who's been harassing Suzanne for a while. Wherever she is, I'll find her. Good. <laughs> um, how would you be able to identify her if Suzanne wasn't able to? Believe it or not, there was DNA on that fake gun. So we think it's possible we'll identify her that way. Thanks for your time. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh, uh, excuse me, I'll take that. <laughs> Having fun? No. I thought I saw one cute guy, but I think it was a mirage. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Those have hazelnut. Your mom told me about your allergies. Yeah. Oh, thank you for warning me. <laughs> Whitney! Oh, look at Trish! <laughs> <laughs> oh, cookies. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. You know. I know. Supposedly, you're the Anderson's maid, but I don't remember you at all. Well, I started working for them a month before they left. No. I don't think I've ever seen you. Yes, I'm not that memorable. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would have seen you because I'm really good friends with Greta and her ship. Oh, my God. I'm probably going to call her because she's going to know. Mm -hmm. Drop it! Um, uh, you, you dropped the hazelnut cookie into Whitney's glass. She's allergic. You could have killed her. What? No, I didn't. I didn't do that. Oh God, Trish, you need to be more careful. That could have been really bad for me. Whitney, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't do it. Okay. I mean, I mean, mm. What? Here. To calm your nerves. Shh. Thanks. Just don't tell my parents. They treat me like I'm five. Um, don't look now, but your dream man is checking you out. Really? Yeah, he's cute. Uh, why don't you take this glass of champagne? I've got work to do. Okay, anything to help? <laughs> don't let your dad see. Hi, champagne? Thank you. <laughs> you look familiar. Have we met? No, I'm Whitney, Suzanne's daughter. I've seen you on Suzanne's desk. Well, I, your photos, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's <laughs> You come here often? I live here. So. Oh, okay. thank you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I knew I shouldn't have invited the new guy. All the girls at the office have a crush on him, and he's just <laughs> too old for Whitney. 
I'm gonna put a stop to this before it becomes something. <laughs> oh, Cassie? Trish needs her coat and bag. She wants to leave. Can you make sure that uh, she goes home? She's pretty wasted, and she keeps saying she wants to call Greta Anderson. I think we need to get her home. Mm-hmm. I will go grab her things. Thank you. Trish. She's ever worked for the... Hello? Is someone there? I can't believe she said... I tried to kill Whitney. I would never hurt Whitney. Never. Leaving, they need their coats. Okay. What were you doing outside? I was just taking out the trash. Oh, good. I'm glad everything's okay. By the way, um, how would you feel about working here permanently? Seriously? Seriously. I mean, I was just talking to Clay and Whitney, and they were raving about you, and position is open, so. Starting, say, Monday? Do you think you'd be interested? Are you kidding? I would kill for it. Hi. Everything okay? You getting all settled in? Yeah, just getting unpacked. Great. Here's the key to the house, to the front door, coffee in the kitchen, and honestly, eat whatever you want. Please go to town. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, Rachel. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe we should have Adam fill in for you. Right, about that. Yeah, I mean, it's Annabelle's friend. Go ahead and schedule her at noon and push back the 12.30 if you need to. Great. Yeah, it's a personal favor. Right. Okay, great. Feel better. Yeah, thank you. I gotta go. Yeah, no, I don't... Honestly, it'll be fine. I mean, I'm thrilled they asked me to be equity partner, but I just don't see how we could afford it this time. But Sue's is what you've always wanted. It's what you've always dreamed of. But it's just a lot of money for us to put in right now. I mean, with your company having layoffs, Whitney's applying for college next year. It's just a lot of money. What if something happens to the firm? What's gonna happen? I mean, the firm's doing great. And so are you. Right? I guess. Thank you. All right. We gotta run. Okay. Good luck with Annabelle's run. Thank you. Damn it, sunglasses. Whitney! Did you take my sunglasses again? So 
always taking my things. <laughs> Bye, Cassie. Call me if you need anything, okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> oh, you texting that cutie from the party? Adam, my mom made it very clear that he's way too old for me. Mm. If she had it her way, I would be a nut. <laughs> oh, shoot. I have to go. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Suzanne, I had a question about the laundry. Oh, Cassie? Uh, this isn't Suzanne, it's Whitney. Oh. I swore I called Suzanne. Oh, shh. I took my mom's phone. She's literally gonna kill me. I, I don't have time to drop it off there. Oh, well, that's too bad. Well, you didn't hear it from me, but I heard that Adam was gonna do some filing on your mom's desk. Really? <laughs> Be a little late. <laughs> Thanks, Cassie. Hi, Adam. Whitney. Wow, that's so weird. I was literally just thinking about you. You were? Yeah. About what we were talking about at the party? Your college applications? Oh. <laughs> I actually had a really good idea for you. Here, take my number. And you feel free to call me whenever, all right? Oh, shoot. Sure. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, now you really have to be more careful about taking my things. I know. I am so sorry. It was an accident. I don't even know how it happened. And I already told you I don't want you hanging out with Adam, okay? I know I'm not. He's too old. He can go back to school. Oh, no. More work to do. That's a, it's not considered libel. Action. Hmm. Yeah, oh, Diana gotta go. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. She here? No, she just called. She needs to push it back till next week. Oh. 
Okay. Um. Could you uh, pull file? She wants guess to I'll have to wait another week to find out who Annabelle's mysterious friend is. Oh, and Suzanne, someone named Frank is here to see you. Oh, send him in. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Frank. Hey, Sus. Have a seat. <sighs> Got good news. I think I have a lead on your stalker. What? Really? That was quick. Did you find some DNA on that fake gun? Nah, DNA's not back yet. I showed the sketch did around downtown. Anyway, I found someone I think he knows her. She's a homeless woman named Mary Clark. You sound familiar? What? Mary Clark? No. Yeah, well, supposedly this Mary grabs lunch at the sub shop every day at around 1230, so I'm gonna head over there now, see if I can catch her. I'll keep you posted. Thank you, Frank. Damn it, Mary, damn it, damn it! Mary! Oh, Cassie. <sighs> what are you doing here? I came to warn you. They found you. S Suzanne's what? private eye did. You need to get underground now, fast. What? But how? W where do I go? I guess I can maybe go to my sister's in Portland. But Cassie, I need more money. What? I need it to travel. Otherwise, I can't go. And then I'll have to tell them what really happened. Fine, OK? Here. Maybe you should stay closer to home. Like underground home. Really deep underground. Hey, I forgot to ask you, how did the meeting go with Annabelle's friend? I got pushed back. Thursday or Friday. What's this? Oh, I forgot to tell you, I got a flight to Atlanta. It's the last second conference Annabelle told me about. Be back at the end of the week. Oh, really? Yeah. Honey, did you uh, spend a lot of time with Annabelle at work today? No, she was in meetings most of the day. Did you see her after work? Hmm. Maybe it's from her kissing you hello at the party. Going on the trip with you? No, just me. But hey, good luck with that meeting with her friend. Make me proud, babe. Nice show starting. Now to find out who the mystery guest is. Hey, your two o'clock is here. Suzanne, you... What? Lipstick? Ink. Ink? Oh, damn it, I don't have a mirror. Thank you. Is it gone? <laughs> Shoot. Here. All right, yeah. Gone? Yeah, you're good. Thank you. Right. Center in. Yep. 
Miss Curry. Such a pleasure to meet you. Just call me Katie. Yes. <sighs> oh! Oh, I recognize her. Katie Curry. The news anchor lady. Right on. Thanks so much for meeting with me, Suzanne. Annabelle spoke so highly of you. <laughs> she mentioned that this issue requires absolute discretion. Absolutely. Whatever you say in this room stays in this room. <gasps> That's what she thinks. Uh, Katie, do you mind if I tape this? It's just for my own notes so I don't miss anything. And then I personally transcribe it and then I delete it after. Uh, 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 no, uh, no tapes, please. Sure. No problem. It's off. Oh, that's what she thinks. Kitty, what can I do for you? There's a video of me. Online. It's a sex tape. And you, you can't see my face clearly, but I have a birthmark on my shoulder. It's definitely me. And this tape, it shows everything. No one can ever find out about it ever. My husband, who I'm divorcing, he filmed me without my knowledge and posted it online. I begged him to take it down, but he refuses. Actually, he's starting to post more tapes. Tapes where you can see my face really clearly. Unless I pay him a huge amount of alimony. Katie, that is extortion. We actually... No, no, I, no I, I know what he's doing is illegal, and I want to fight him, but... I just can't risk it getting out. My career's just taking off. I'm just about to sign a multi-year contract with one of the biggest cable news networks in New York. And if this gets out, it could destroy my career and my life. Yeah, it really would. Oh, Winnie, what, what are you doing here? Oh, I just realized I forgot my English paper. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what are you watching? Oh, just a, a, a talk show. Oh, well, maybe I should stay and watch no, it. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You're gonna be late for class. I mean, you have to pick your battles, right? You don't want your mom suspicious about you ditching? Unless it's for something fun, like seeing Adam. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, maybe. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, oh, speaking of Adam. Adam. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I saw him last week. We got together over the long weekend because he volunteered to help me with college applications, and now he's coming with me to Lana's barbecue. Oh, <laughs> awesome! <Yeah. laughs> oh, but mm, yes, yes. <laughs> Bye. 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 God, she's gone. Oh, she made me miss my favorite show. Well, thank goodness for reruns. I love this app. It's a sex tape. <gasps> Clay? Huh, he's back. <laughs> Do you know where Clay is? He was here just a second ago. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Is Clay's boss? Says she modeled to pay her way through Harvard. Oh, impressive. Yeah. She's. Oh, hey, huh? Hi. And here you come in. Yeah, you're back early. Uh, how'd the conference go? Good. Tiring, but I'm um, glad to be home. I see you got my favorite wine. That I did. Should we have a drink on the roof? Yeah. Hmm. We'll let it 
it breathe for a minute. <laughs> so any news on the restructuring? Yeah, actually, rumor has it they're gonna let go of 20% of the workforce. Huh. But I think my job's safe. Partially thanks to you. Mm -hmm. You're meeting with Annabelle's friend. Yeah. She really appreciates you helping her friend with her legal issues. Oh, that's no big deal. Really. Mm -hmm. That was a big deal to me. What? I just keep thinking I smell her perfume. You love birds. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna head out for the night. Oh, uh, let me help you with this. Wow, that is a view. Yeah, it's a beautiful night, isn't it? Yeah, I could get used to this. to record a video clip and put it on the firm's website. Ask a lawyer. <laughs> it's just one of the perks of being a partner. One drink won't kill you. Mm. Well, it's been a long time since we've had the whole place to ourselves. Whitney is gone. She's spending the night at Lana's. She doesn't have school tomorrow. Maybe we should delay dinner and start with dessert. Okay. You want. It was a long day of traveling. I gotta go to sleep. Must be my lonely wiles. I'd like to get this hot pink ball and perfume, please. That will be $80. Thank you. Thank you. Annabelle. Betty wouldn't fall asleep on you. Oh. oh. Well, I guess it's time to get to work. Welcome to today's segment. Welcome to today's episode of Ask a Lawyer. I am Suzanne Cruz, and today we're... Today we're going to talk about... Welcome to today's episode of Ask a Lawyer. I'm Suzanne Cruz, and today we're going to talk about how to find a great divorce attorney.
this in the morning. Unfortunately for you. Oh, shit. Damn. You drank too much. Now, let's see what we're working with. Take it from here. Welcome to today's episode hmm. of Ask a Lawyer. It's not really I'm exciting, is it? Suzanne Cruz. No. I'm Suzanne Cruz. Let's do this. Whatever you say in this room. Stays in this room. Now this is more entertaining. Mm -hmm. Let's upload this video instead. There. Perfect. Now let's destroy the evidence. Now, Suzanne, don't quote me on this, but I think you're about to go viral. Look how I feel. Yeah. No more drinking on school nights for me. Mm. No more drinking on school nights. <sighs> Honey, you know last night didn't mean anything, right? I was just tired. Okay. That damn selfie stand, it fell over and it broke my phone in a bunch of pieces, so I have to get another one before work. Do you think I have time? Um... No, I don't. Hmm. I'm late. I gotta go. I gotta take a shower. Oh, God. Rachel, hi. Is there a call? What's going on? They want to see you in the conference room. Who does? The partners. All of them. He's ready. Suzanne, have a seat. Chad, what's going on? Don't tell me you don't know. Huh? Uh, Katie, do you mind if I tape this? It's just for my own notes so I don't miss anything. And then I personally transcribe it and then I delete it after. No, uh, no tapes. I, I don't understand. Where did, where did that come from? From you. You uploaded it at 3 o'clock this morning to our company website. What? No. No, I, no, I did not, okay? That's, that's not possible. Let me explain. Okay, I, I was taping the Ask a Lawyer segment last night, and there's a video of me online. It's a sex tape. You can't see my face Please. clearly, but I have a birthmark on my shoulder. It's definitely me. And this tape, it shows everything. And no one can find out about it. Are you saying this went public? Obviously, we pulled it down as soon as we saw it, but it's too late. Buzzworthy Magazine's got it, and it's going viral, as is the Katie Curry sex tape, thanks to you. Chad, I, we I, anticipate a massive lawsuit against this firm and against you personally. Honey. Honey, come here, come here, come here. Honey. 
Honey, how did this happen? I, I have no idea. We were both so drunk last night, right? I guess I somehow uploaded the wrong footage. But how, honey? I don't know, okay? But somehow that footage, it got on my phone, okay? And like, I, mean, I don't know, Katie told me to stop recording, and I did. At least I thought I did, right? But maybe I, maybe I pushed the wrong button. I mean, I don't know, but literally, she is going to ruin us. There's going to be a lawsuit. And I'm, I'm so sorry. Honey, 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 no, 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 come here, come here, come here. No, 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 we're gonna get through this, okay? We'll be okay, we're gonna get through this. I just, I can't believe it. I you know, I feel terrible for what happened to Katie. But she's literally going to sue us for everything we own, the house. Every penny. I, uh, Honey, what about malpractice insurance? Huh? The, the firm has some, but it's not nearly enough to cover this. And I mean, honestly, yeah, I don't even think there's going to be a firm after all this. I, I gotta go. Where are you going, honey? I need to talk to the lawyer from the insurance company. But all right, okay, I'll go with you. No, no, no. I'm gonna talk to him myself, okay? But I, I, I just don't have a phone. Can I just borrow your phone? I, I still don't have mine. Uh, sure, sure. Here, here, here. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay, come here. Okay, I'll be here. I'll wait for you here, okay? I love you. I love you too. Honestly, I don't even know how this happened, okay? I don't even remember uploading the file. I remember taping the Ask a Lawyer segment, okay? Well, you mentioned that you had a little bit too much to drink. Have you had any problems with alcohol in the past? No. No, 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 it's not like that because I didn't even have that much to drink. Okay, well, I gotta say, Suzanne, this just doesn't look too good for you. I mean, taping her without her permission and then uploading it to the website. But what if, what if I didn't even make that tape? Is it possible someone hacked my phone? I guess it's possible, yeah. But, I mean, you still uploaded the, the file to the firm's website. I know, but I... Maybe. Whoever hacked my phone hacked the website, too. Yeah. Who would do that to you? I don't know. Um... I, I mean, I guess it can hurt to take a look at the phone. No, that's, uh, that's actually my husband's phone. Mine broke, and I threw it away. Is there any way you can get a hold of it? I mean, there might be something we could pull off of it, even if it's damaged. Okay. Oh, it's busy. Uh, I'm gonna go get that phone before it's gone for good. Go. go. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Annabelle, I know. I know it looks bad and reflects poorly on the credibility of the company. I know, but... Please, will you at least let me come down and talk to you in person? Are you still with the office? Okay, I'll be there in 15. Suzanne, I have to go to the office and try to save my job. We'll be back ASAP. I love you. Oopsies. here. I can't believe this. Everything is ruined my entire life. It's Clay here. 
Is he downstairs? No, he left a couple minutes ago. He did? Did he say where he was going? He said he would wait for me here. Um... I just need a minute. Okay. Sorry, it's like... Stop it. Don't touch me. What's going on? You were with Annabelle, weren't you? Yeah. I, I had to go down to the office. She was meeting with the board about firing me. I had to go down and talk her out of it. Oh, right. I'm sure you were just talking. Suzanne, what is going on? You should tell your girlfriend to be more careful. Oh my God, what... That is not me. <laughs> Oh, right, Clay. I'm serious. This is not me, damn it. I don't know who this is. I mean, I admit it looks a lot like me, but it's not me. You know why? Because this never happened. This this, this has to be photoshopped. Oh, really? And that hot pink bra and panties. Annabelle's favorite color. And the note, I need you now. You are racing out the door to meet her. God, it's got to be spam, okay? I don't know how Clay, to explain I am it. not an idiot! <laughs> no, look, look. This is not Annabelle's number. I'm going to call. Damn it. Uh -huh. that, that doesn't prove anything, okay? Honey. She could have a second number. I know how this looks, okay? I know how this looks, but trust me, I would never cheat on you. Ever. I love you. Do you understand me, honey? I know how it looks, but trust me. I'm gonna figure it out, all right? It just feels like everything is spiraling out of control right now and everything's going to hell. Yes, it we is. We gotta stick together on this, okay? Just trust me, okay? We're gonna get through this, all right? Can we please just go upstairs, go to bed? Leave me alone. Hmm. I didn't know anyone was up. You did not sleep, did you? No. My mind's been racing. I... Suzanne, everything that you're going through, it's not gonna end really soon. Promise. <laughs> Maybe it was just spam. Oh, Cassie, you dropped your bra. Oh, that's not mine. I think it fell out of Clay's bag. Huh? This isn't mine or Whitney's. Excuse me. Yeah. Clay! Clay, can you explain this to me? I guess I'll see you later then. Hey, Whitney, hold up a sec. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Listen, I didn't mean to mislead you or anything. I just thought we were friends. Yeah, then, no, it's okay. I get it. You're involved with someone else. Whitney, come on. You know I seriously think you're amazing. And trust me, you're just a little bit older. Yeah. I have 
two, two pieces of proof. You're lying. <laughs> I am not lying, okay? I am not lying. I never slept with her, and I'm tired of you Wait. accusing me. Are you kidding me? Just I want stop you it, okay? Out stop of here. it, damn it. I never slept with her, and I'm tired of you accusing me. Are you kidding me? You were lying to me for months. I am you not lying. lying. Yes, you are. I can tell. You know what? What's going on? Uh, it's your mom. No, she didn't tell me what. I don't know the whole story, but she messed up at work. She messed up really bad. She did, huh? Well, why is she taking it out of my dad? I've never seen them like this. I don't know. It's going to be okay. You are eating peanuts. You're eating peanuts. You're a liar. I am not a liar. Yes, you I are. Am... I want you out of here. Get out now. Nothing would make me happier. You know what? You are losing it. You are losing it. Wait. I never want to see you again. Just leave. <laughs> Baby, I didn't know you were home. What are you doing? Why are you kicking Dad out? Honey, it's a long story, okay? I can't really explain. So you're I... kicking Dad out because you messed up at work? No. No, Winnie. Just leave me alone! Are you okay? I... Maybe you should give your mom a break. She's going through a really rough time right now. Why? Because she made some big mistake at work? Big deal. We're all going through a tough time right now. No. You really don't know what's going on. Katie Curry's sex tape revealed by her own lawyer? They're saying mom's the one who exposed this? Oh my god. You read what they're saying about her. It's really harsh. That lady lawyer pretends to be pro-woman, but look what she did to her own client. What was she thinking? I know what she was thinking about that young hottie in her office. I hear they go at it at lunch every day. And mom's having an affair. Oh my god, what, what, what is it? Oh my god, is that Adam? I, I can't believe this. That is why he wasn't interested in me. I mean, he said that he was in a relationship with someone else, but... No wonder mom didn't want me to date him. Because she and he were... I, I have to get out of here. Winnie, I am so sorry. <laughs> Whitney, honey. Listen, we need to talk about your dad and I, what? okay? Anything that is happening between us has nothing to do just with stop. you. Just stop. Whitney. No. Just stop. I know who you are now. What are you talking about? I saw it. I saw the pictures. I know why you kicked dad out, and I know why you're so against me seeing Adam. Adam. Just stop. Just stop acting so innocent. I read what they're saying online. No. I know what's going on now. No. How no, that's not you? what it looks like. Whitney, listen to me. Whitney. I don't understand who took that photo. Adam and I were alone in the office. There was no one else there in the office. Suzanne, hey, it's actually just gonna call you. Frank, wait. Did you ever find that woman that was stalking me, Mary Clark? No, actually, that's what I was gonna call you about. I've been trying to track her down, but she hasn't shown up in any of her usual spots. What, what you think something has happened? You could say that. A photo of me was released online, and I just... Is this some... 
it possible that somebody hacked my phone? Sure. Well, pretty much anybody can hack anything nowadays. It's not even hard. All it takes is an app. You just uh, install it onto someone else's phone. Do you think it's this lady, your stalker? She said she wanted to make me pay. And so I just, I just think that she could be behind all this. The DNA results came back from that fake gun she had. There were two different sets of DNA on it. But one was unknown, but one was a match for someone in the file. Someone you knew from the past. Who? Who was it? It's a young girl about 15 years ago named Cat Quinn. Mother died in a car accident? Oh, God. Yeah, I remember her. Oh, that poor little girl, how could I forget? Wait, Frank, are you saying that that Kat's DNA being on the gun means that this woman, Mary Clark, is really Kat Quinn? Could be her, or could be Kat Quinn is just someone Mary Clark knows, or maybe she gave her the gun. The problem is we have no idea what Kat looks like now. After her mom died in a car accident, Kat went to the system. Ran away after she was 13 years old. No one's seen or heard of her since. She could be anyone. For that, do you notice if the gun lady had any kind of scars? Scars? Yeah, yeah, scars. Cat was in that car accident. And she was thrown clear, but she was really damaged. Now, like I said, we don't know what she looks like, but she would have some major scarring. There'd be a long scar all the way down from back to front, probably around the side of her waist. Can't quit cat. Oopsie. Call drops. Then, hello. You, your cat Quinn. I am. I was wondering when you were going to figure it out. It took you long enough. But why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, come on, Suzanne. Don't pretend like you don't know. No, I don't. Well, let's put it this way. Like you, I want to give back to you. I want to give back to you, Suzanne. I want to give you everything that you deserve. Please, I didn't do anything to you. But you did, Suzanne. You ruined my life. You took everything from me. First you took my father, then you took my mother. You left me with nothing. No. I... Which is why I needed you to know what it felt like to lose everything in your perfect life. I mean, you have to admit, it's kind of funny. I mean, you had it all. Perfect family, the good house, the nice job. Everybody loved you. And I, I took it all away from you. And now your darling daughter thinks that you're screwing her boyfriend. The firm wishes they never laid eyes on you. And your husband thinks that you're insane. And Katie Curry won't. <laughs> she probably wishes that you were dead. And you know what? We're going to give her that wish. Because guess what? You are going to commit suicide. No, please listen to me. No one is going to believe you, okay? They will not believe you. I am not suicidal. But you are. Suzanne, now that you've lost everything, what more do you have to live for? Oh, oh, oh. oh, Suzanne! I just can't believe this. I can't believe she would do this to me and to Dad. I feel like I don't even know my own mother anymore. Come on, she's still your mom, even if she's being a total cougar. I mean... Maybe she's having a midlife crisis. Oh, wait, here it is. And thanks to her lawyer's error, the Katie Curry sex tape has now gone viral. Curry herself has gone into hiding, and her job offer from CNC Cable tape. News has been rescinded. Curry has filed a lawsuit against the law firm and the lawyer that leaked the tape to the tune of $30 million. There's a video of me online. It's a sex tape. You can't see my face clearly, but I have a birthmark on my shoulder. It's definitely me. Hey, can you turn this up? Mm -hmm. In this tape, it shows everything. And no one can find out about it. 
What is it, Wen? No, I've seen this. I've seen this before. I mean, yeah, who hasn't? It's only the top turning topic. No, no, I mean, I've seen this before, like weeks ago. I, I came home from school early and it was on the TV, but I thought it was a talk show. Well, she said it was a talk show, but it, it wasn't, which means that she, she had this footage back then, which means, oh my God, I think she hacked my mom's phone. Who? Cassie. And I bet she was the one who released this footage to the public. Oh my God, I, I have to go. I think my mom's in trouble. I... Suzanne! Can't get away from me that easily. Stay away from me. Really? Are you really gonna shoot me? I don't want to. No? You don't want to hurt me? No, I don't, Kat. I never wanted anything bad to happen to you or to your mother, okay? All right. Because you're all about giving second chances. Yes, you're all about helping poor women in trouble. Stay back! I'm gonna shoot! <laughs> you really think <gasps> I keep bullets in this? You can't listen. No one is gonna believe it's a suicide now, okay? Look at the room. You can tell that there was a struggle. It's so clear. You all just say it's a murder. <laughs> Committed by your stalker, Cat Quinn. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, officer. Please. I don't know what happened. Cat Quinn, she broke in and then she killed Suzanne. Listen, you're Cat Quinn, you. Duh. But no one knows that but you and I. Everyone thinks that Mary is Cat Quinn. And guess what? She's not going to tell anybody. And neither are you. Ah, stop! Wait! Wait, but you have to know the truth. I didn't hurt your mother, okay? I wasn't even the lawyer on her divorce. Okay, and that lawyer told no. Suzanne. I was there, remember? I no. saw you. I'm telling the truth. I was just a junior attorney. I was assisting Ellen Dawson, okay? She has short brown hair. She's older. You remember? Yes, Kat. Yes, you remember. Well, does it matter? Yes, but it does matter. Okay, I was only assisting. Yes, I read the DNA results that said that Mr. Quinn wasn't your father, but you have to understand that I was just reading the research that I gave Ellen. Suzanne, do you think at this point that it makes a difference? It makes all the difference, you psycho. Leave my mom alone. <gasps> Oh, it's empty, Whitney. As usual, you're late to the game. Actually, Cassie, this game is over. <laughs> well, then she lost. I thought she was gonna kill you. Suzanne! Whitney! You all right? Thank God. It was Cassie. Cassie tried to kill Mom. Oh my God, Frank called me. He said he was worried about you. He said he might be in trouble. I called the police. Oh boy. Where is she? <gasps> Guys! <gasps> she was just there, dead in the water. But I don't understand. She was shot. So how'd she get away? Ma'am, she didn't. What do you mean? Cat Quinn won't be a danger to you or your family anymore, okay? Look, a few hours ago, Highway Patrol spotted her, driving radically. They chased her, and she went over a cliff down to the forest below. So is she dead? Yes, ma'am. They're working on finding her car right now. Did she find her body? No. She flew out the car on the way down. They're searching for her body now, but it's a big, dense forest. But I wouldn't worry. No one could survive that fall. She's dead. 
It's over, honey. It's over. So it had a happy ending all around. Well, thankfully, all my family is safe and sound. Um, what about the lawsuit, though? Well, the lawsuit. Actually, um, uh, maybe I should answer that. Once I realized Suzanne had nothing to do with releasing the tape, I considered dropping the lawsuit anyway. I mean, I realized none of this was her fault at all. And ultimately, there were no financial damages. What about the job at the cable network? I mean, the gossip columns did say that they rescinded their job offer once, you know, your sex tape went viral. They did rescind their offer, but once I made it clear that the video was made without my permission and that I was the victim here, they hired me back. In fact, I just finished filming a three-part series on revenge porn that'll be airing later next month. Revenge porn, how fitting. Well, all's well that ends well. Thank you guys so much for joining me at G-Rated. Katie, such a pleasure having you. Suzanne, thanks so much for coming back. You're welcome. Oh, is that Suzanne Cruz? What's she doing on TV? You know, she was my junior associate way back when. It's funny, actually. Suzanne was the one that started Second Chances. That charity that I'm collecting clothing donations for. It's such a worthy cause. Thank you so much for your donation, by the way, dear. But you know me, I'm all about giving second chances. Because really, what's more important than giving back? <laughs>